And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday, January the 9th, 2018. It's the birthday of Richard Milhouse Nixon, born Yorba Linda, California, 1913. Grew up poor, Quaker family in the town of Whittier. Family ran a grocery store, gas station. He won a scholarship to Harvard, but his parents needed his help in the store, so he stayed home, went to a local college instead. Went to Duke University, then became an attorney in Whittier. He auditioned for a community theater production and met a high school stenography teacher named Pat Ryan. He was in love with her. She was not sure. Nixon wrote to her in a letter, Every day and every night I want to see you and be with you, yet I have no feeling of selfish ownership or jealousy. Let's go for a long ride Sunday. Let's go to the mountains weekends. Let's read books in front of fires. Most of all, let's really grow together and find the happiness we know is ours. He'd served in the Navy during World War II. He learned to play poker, which was not tolerated in his Quaker family, but by the end of the war he'd made almost $10,000, and he used that money to fund his first political campaign, and was elected to Congress with 60% of the vote. It's the birthday of Simone de Beauvoir, born in Paris, 1908, author of The Second Sex. Gloria Steinem said, if any single human being can be credited with inspiring the women's movement, it is Simone de Beauvoir. It's the birthday of the playwright Brian Friel, born in County Tyrone, Northern Ireland, 1929, author of Philadelphia, Here I Come, Dancing at Lunasa, other plays. It's the birthday of the New York Times fiction critic Michiko Kakatani, born in New Haven, Connecticut, 1955, daughter of a Yale mathematician, known as a fearsome reviewer, recently wrote a scathing review of an Anne Beattie novel, and writers have been scathing in return. Salman Rushdie called Kakatani a weird woman, Susan Sontag said her criticisms are stupid and shallow, and Jonathan Franzen called Kakatani the stupidest person in New York City. Nonetheless, Michiko Kakatani won the Pulitzer Prize for criticism in 1998. Here's a poem for today by Maria Maziati Gillen, Everything We Don't Want Them to Know. At 11, my granddaughter... Looks like my daughter did, that slender body, that thin face, the grace with which she moves. When she visits, she sits with my daughter. They have hot chocolate together and talk. The way my granddaughter moves her hands, the concentration with which she does everything, knocks me back to the time when I sat with my daughter at this table, and we talked, and I watched the grace with which she moved her hands, the delicate way she lifted the heavy hair back behind her ear. My daughter is grown now, married in a fairy tale wedding, divorced, something inside her broken, healing slowly. I look at my granddaughter, and I want to save her as I was not able to save my daughter. Nothing is that simple. All our plans, carefully made, thrown into a cracked pile by the way love betrays us. Everything We Don't Want Them to Know, a poem by Maria Maziati Gillen from her collection All That Lies Between Us, published by Guernica Editions, used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, supported by the Poetry Foundation, offering poetry podcasts to listen to and thousands of poems to read at poetryfoundation.org. And by Lumosity, introducing a 10-minute fit test to challenge memory, attention, and problem-solving to calculate baseline scores. Learn more at lumosity.com. Produced by Joy Biles, Assisted by Teresa Burgess, be well, do good work, and keep in touch.